I've always said, and I've told friends and people, that I have the appetite for it. And it is true. I really have the appetite for it. I've also said that um, when, if God gives me the energy, uh, I will one day present myself to lead the, uh, the party if um, the party members vote for me. So declaring your intent or mere declaration of intent does not mean that one is uh, breaking the rules. It's not legally binding anywhere, okay? I've been the arena chairman before in our great party. I've been for some time a campaign manager before in our great party. And I know the rules of the game. And I'll not go against the rules of the game, right? And we have the party constitution. And when we want to talk to the public, we have to refer to the party constitution. Because when people do not read the party constitution, officers talk like this. They believe what the officers say. And I think that it's not good for the party, right? Let us present what is right for the people to make their own judgment, right? So I think that um, that is an unfortunate statement and we should not be really um, uh, be, be, be talking this way as uh, top officers of the party. They, we have the programs, as we have said, okay? And we shall go through the programs. But before one decides to contest, right, one may be declaring to his friends that this is what I intend to do when they, they, they open the doors, right? But that's not, that's not mean that one is campaigning. There's a difference between mere declaration and campaigning, going around delegates, to tell them you, they should give you their votes. You know one thing, we are even yet to know the Electoral College. So we don't even know those who are going to vote for us. So how do you campaign? You campaign when you, you have the, the branch uh, elections and you know the branch executives because they are going to vote. So for anybody going around now might only be declaring and not really campaigning because these are not the delegates.